everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grunmeyer, Director of Public Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana. Thank you so much for tuning into our show. In this segment, we'll be talking about this, an evening with the stars, Jefferson Dollars for Scholars, a great event, Party with a Purpose. It's a, an amazing organization that's been doing such great work for now 18 years in Jefferson Parish, the great work uh, of raising dollars, uh, hard work, I would say, of raising dollars for students to be able to fulfill a dream, which is to go to school and, and pursue a career and, pers and pursue something that they're passionate about. Uh, this great a group of organ organizations and companies uh, make it happen. I'm happy to be joined by two of my favorite heroes, but also two ladies that really exemplify what it means to give back to the community, and that's Miss Cindy Enright, uh, who's the gala co-chair and vice chair of communications for Jefferson Dollars for Scholars, and a former Cox employee, I must say, we'll talk about that later, and Barbara Turner Windhorse, who's the gala co-chair and vice chair of university partners. Ladies, great to have you here. Thank you. It's a we'll do all the kissing later. Yeah. Uh, great to have you here. Tell everybody, first off, I, I did my best in 30 seconds to talk about what I feel is a great organization, but tell me a little bit about Jefferson Dollars for Scholars. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank Cox Communications because in 18 years they stepped up to the plate from the very beginning way back when I was superintendent of schools they mm -hmm. came forward they presented a lot of money and they've made this really work for us and I used to call Cox the yeah. company that put their money where their heart and was I still use that put it many where a the time. children yeah. are thank so you. I really would like to first of all I think all, it's well over Cox. like 200,000 easy oh, that we've easily. given more than so, that I'm yeah. sure at this point for sure but for 18 years now we have been providing scholarships for for young people who graduate from Jefferson Parish Public Schools and are going on to university life, as well as providing scholarship opportunities for kids in the summer. Sure. Tell me so, a little bit about its history, Cindy. I mean, it's a well, uh, yes. vast history. Uh, and how many kids have, has it impacted? It's unbelievable. It started in 1993, and you're mm -hmm. going to hear about the founder a little later because Barbara's going to talk a little bit about mm -hmm. that. We started off giving 37 scholarships, and we were very proud of that. And I've had a bird's eye view of watching it grow because I've been on the board the entire 18 years, have. and it has grown into an organization that has now given over 4,000 students an opportunity to, to pursue a higher education or we also have students that in our kindergarten through eighth grade enrichment, enrichment programs mm. and you know th these 4,000 students have received and been awarded over 11 million dollars in scholarships and that's something we are very very proud of not only at the awards program do they get their scholarship but each one of them that is going on to college gets a laptop computer Wow and in addition to that we're talking about 11, 11 million dollars right. over 18 years. Over 18 years. What, what is the requirements? I mean, obviously it's for public, private, and parochial. No, it's Who's not. Who's it available no, to? That, you know, our mission really is to provide access to educational opportunities to Jefferson Parish Public School okay, students, good. you know, and, and, they have and that's to hit what we do. What they to have be to able hit to a 20 eligible. ACT yeah. and a 3.0. Okay. Okay, that, that's their GPA. And, and, with, and the nice part about it, and I go to you, Barbara, for this, is you guys, uh, of course, have your corporate, but if I could get to the actual partnerships with the universities, that's crucial. We have every single university in the state of Louisiana, public and private, with the odd exception of LSU, and I never have been able to figure out why. All right, you why. Tiger fans, I'm calling you out. <laughs> that's it. If they anybody really knows <laughs> anybody at LSU, what we, we need to do, we you need, need to help us out. Absolutely. Because there's not a scholarship from Jefferson Dollars for Scholars to but LSU. Every Go single figure. state university, okay. whether public or private, contributes and it's an I'm incredible serious. If someone hears thing. us, we I mean, need your help. Here's a, we're going to send a copy of this tape to the chancellor. That's <laughs> You beat, uh, you beat um, uh, Oregon, shame one, you know. That's you, right. You should at least be able to do this. No, I'm sorry. So you do have a partnership with the universities. Oh, we definitely have a partnership with the universities. And they're delighted because they're getting kids who really want to go to school. Yeah. And in many instances, these are youngsters who are the very first person in their family to ever go to university. Well said. And for many of them, they wouldn't be able to go without the financial support because, as you certainly know, with four children of your own, although they're obviously not at that Nowhere stage that yet. yet, but they're going to get We're looking there. For money already. They're going to get there because right. it is a very expensive proposition yeah. sending kids to school these days. And with that, with a group like Dollars for Scholars, which, you're, which you need to start with and you did, is find good corporate partners. Exactly. And we have not only Cox do we have, but we also have Oxner Health System, Capital One, we have AT&T, we have uh, Entergy, we have Engel Shipbuilding, and Pepsi. Awesome. And those are are, are, are sponsors that their dollars are really crucial to the success. I'm happy to say we're one of the founding yes, partners well, because yes, it's significant. Are. 18 years is, is really quite a milestone and, and Dollars for Scholars has done such great success, recognized three times over its 18 years, mm -hmm. exactly. uh, is huge as the 
dollars for scholars organization in the country. That I think that's significant. Um, Cindy, tell me a little bit about. I'm sorry. Um, let me back this up a little bit. We talked about the major donors, etc. What about small businesses? I didn't want to leave that alone, well, Barbara, because that's crucial. We, big corporations can't make it alone because it's it's the little drives at the schools, but it's also small businesses that really step we up. We have a lot of small business support, and we also have the support of the entire business community. Yeah. So we have East Jefferson Business Association, we have the Elmwood Business Association, we have the Harvey Canal Industrial Association, we have the Jefferson Business Council, the Jefferson Chamber, we have all of those. We have the city of Kenner. We have the Crescent City School of Gaming and Bartending. Right. I mean, really, we need that for this. We always you have good have, meetings with those you, guys. Always <laughs> good meetings. you can't have a party in Louisiana without, without a big, exactly. No. The Goldring Family Foundation, the Jefferson Parish Public Schools, the Jefferson Parish uh, Public School Administrators, and the Ponch Train Center. We certainly couldn't yeah. do it without the Ponch Train and Center. And all of them really make make it happen, and which I think is fantastic. Um, outside of that, I know JD, uh, Jefferson Dallas Rose College has great programs. You talk about the enrichment, but also ACT prep. Alex Krishanik, who is the founder of and has the only, been the only person to provide this service for these hand down, kids, he's the best. He is through the, best. the Taylor Foundation, um, and Phyllis Taylor is a co-chair of the patron party, and that's a really important thing, because certainly you re recollect that Patrick and Phyllis Taylor were the originators of the top scholarships Absolutely. to begin with, but nevertheless, we are able to provide an incredible opportunity through him for kids to take ACT preparation, and 75% of the kids who were below the ACT mandatory score score above it once they take his classes. And that's it's a great thing. And the nice part about it, what we're saying is this organization just doesn't throw dollars towards scholarships. Enrichment camp, ACT prep, helps with tops, etc. So much going on there. Cindy, what they're here today to talk about is the 18th annual uh, gala. It's coming up. Tell mm -hmm. us about it. It's the Golden Tassel Gala. We are so proud of it. We're calling it an evening with the stars. We will be recognizing two special stars at the end of the night. It's going to be at the Punch and Train Center in Kenner on the 23rd of September. And naturally, as all galas do, we'd like to think that certainly uh, Jefferson Dollars for Scholars Gala is not only the best in Jefferson Parish, but in the greater New Orleans That's area. It. Because over the 18 years, we've increased, we expect at least 12, 1,500 uh, people that will be there. And the only time I ever heard Party with a Purpose was from you, Cindy Enright, who called it such. The patron parties at 6.30 to 8, followed by the gala at 7.30, World 7.30 to 11.30. Right. Uh, for ticket information, you can go to jeffersondollarsforscholars.org. Give them a call, 504-831-1565, or shoot them an email at mail at jeffersondollarsforscholars.org. Cindy, tell me a little about the food, entertainment, what's going on? Uh, well, uh, at the gala itself, we have almost 60 restaurants. All You have every sampling of food 60. that you want. 60 restaurants, absolutely. <laughs> You like to dance, the Bucktown All-Stars, one of right, the best right. bands in the Phenomenal. geographic area. Auction items, you people that love auctions, you're going to love the sampling. If you're a sampling. silent auction, this is you, and no, you this salivate is over it. This is the place for you Absolutely. to go. Absolutely. We're, we're we have beautiful jewelry, an exceptional amount of art. We have uh, Delta tickets, Southwest tickets to any place that, that they fly in the continental United States. Um, it's Hotel. going to be hotel, hotel accommodations, oh. restaurants, <laughs> restaurants, golfing. Great technology. Uh, technology. Uh, and that's right. That's exactly. right. That's another thing that Shameless Cox does. Plug. That's right. No, you should plug whenever <laughs> you should. But it's going to be an outstanding yeah. opportunity. Barbara's going to tell you a little bit about the patron party that comes up a little yeah, bit before that. Because we're really recognizing two people who have done so much for this community. Community. Well, the patron party itself starts at 6.30 in the evening and goes to 8 o'clock, and the gala starts at 7.30 and goes on till. But the patron party is being co-chaired by Carol Suggs and Phyllis Taylor. We were very blessed to be able to get two such important names in the philanthropic community to do this because they are certainly both well known for their willingness to go the extra mile for kids and that's exactly what they've done. But we will be having music, we will be having champagne being provided by Elio's, we will be having food, we will be having all kinds of opportunities for people to get together and talk. And we would really very much like for anybody who, who has an interest in just getting together and being able to network with other people. Sure. I mean, it's a great opportunity to do that. But more important than that, the people that we're honoring are Kim and Mike Sport. Hey, we're calling this the first Jefferson Dallas for Scholars Star Philanthropic, Philanthropic Award. Award. Exactly nice. right. First ever. The two of them were the originators of, of the Dollars for Scholars concept. They had done this in Orleans Parish 
discovered that there was nothing like it in Jefferson Parish. And so they came, as a matter of fact, to me when I was superintendent and said, hey, you know, how come? And I said, I guess because I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> but now that I do, let's, let's start this. So the two of them did. And if you know anything about Mike and Kim both, their they, oh, be. they are just extraordinary, both of them. I mean, Kim is a knock-dead gorgeous woman on the outside, but she's beautiful on the inside mm -hmm. as well. And she and Mike together make an amazing contribution to our community, both through their hard work and their generous contributions. Well, it's going to be a great event. Cindy, bring us home. Let's let her, right. remind everybody let, let about first, what's going on. I will. First, I must say that we have to give a, a real heads up. Thank you to Ashner uh, yeah. Medical Center because the they prison. are the media department is doing the video for oh, us nice. where we're going to recognize Mike and Kim oh, Sport. So that's a wonderful thing. But we're talking about getting your viewing audience to definitely come be a part of this. It's September the 23rd, Pontchartrain Center. Okay, we're talking 6.30 to 8, the patron party, 7.30 to 11.30, the gala. Tickets, you can get two tickets for $100. Oh, Nowhere wow. you, can, you can go for $50 and taste 60, and 60 restaurants. restaurants for and food. Liquor. And, liquor. and liquor. And, and, and liquor. Right. Great music, too, and see the yes. all-stars. So Absolutely. Everybody's Friday, September 23rd at the Punch Train Center. Patron party, 630. The gala at 730. Again, go to JeffersonDollarsForScholars.org for ticket information, how you can purchase it. Can you do that online? Of course, you can do that yes, as you get there you that day. Online. But we might throw you away if we don't. Oh, no, I'm just like, we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, phone number 504-831-1565 or shoot them an email at mail at JeffersonDollarsForScholars.org. And ladies, again, thank you truly for what you both do. Uh, on your time um, to make a difference for Jefferson Parish and for their students, and it's great to have you here. And thank you for what we're doing both dearly for and kids. Well, thank you very we much, and it. we'll see you out on the uh, 23rd for a great event. I'm Absolutely. Sure. Barbara, thank Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank Sending you, my love. Thank love you much. You. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this segment of Cox Connections. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.